Hello everyone, my name is Cortez Legrand Sr. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So a few weeks ago, I posted this Novesky SBR to my social media platforms, and I received a ton of questions about the setup, uh, what brands did I pick for accessories, where did I get them from, cost, etc. So in this video, I'm gonna go over my setup and cost. Uh, just so you guys are aware, I'm not sponsored by any company or brand. Uh, this is something that I'm doing because I know you guys would appreciate a good Novesky SBR video. Um, so the way that you can really support me is just hit the like button, leave comments, share and subscribe. I will be coming out with more content in the near future. So I really appreciate you guys um, just hitting that subscribe button. Uh, so let's get into it. This is the Novesky Space Invader 5.5 inch barrel. also known as the Space Baby. I'm gonna turn it around for you guys. All right, before I start really handling it, this weapon is on safe and clear. All right, so this color is Sniper Gray. I was able to pick up this AR from Tag Firearm. Uh, the original price was 3,300 bucks. I was able to get a military discount, so those guys do support military, your veterans, etc. Uh, 2,950. Um, and then keep in mind the tax stamp was 205, and then I had to get a transfer uh, to my local FFL and that was $100. So all together for the AR to get into my hands, it was $3,255. Also have this carbon fiber grip, and this came from Smoke Composites. I believe on their website, it costs $189 with shipping and uh, tax. It came out the 205. I have this vertical uh, four grip from Tango Down. That was 80 bucks. And then I have this Aimpoint T2 red dot in combination with this Unity tactical mount. Uh, I was able to order both of these from uh, Aimpoint. I believe their original cost was $1,100, but again, using that military discount, I got it for $984. Uh, here, as you look a little closer, I have a light extension, this piece right here. I got that from T-Rex Arms. And it cost 55 bucks, 60 bucks shipped. And that allowed for me to be able to stend my Surefire uh, Mini uh, light here. Um, so we'll come back to that in a second. But I also got this, this tail cap from uh, um, T-Rex. I keep butchering it, but T.Rex Arms. So this was 80 bucks. Uh, it allowed my switch to be connected into my Surefire. I got my Surefire for 314 bucks. I believe the original price was 360, um, but I was able to, able to acquire it with a military discount again. So next I got this Mod Button Light, and uh, it came with this snap piece as well, which allows me to just connect it right to the Picatinny without any tape or anything like that. Uh, this is a 4.5 inch cord that actually went in seamlessly. I do have I do have a few uh, zip ties right there, but it looks very smooth. Not a lot a lot of wire at all, so that worked perfectly. Um, that cost 90 bucks. Uh, next up, I have this Silencer Co. Spectre 9 uh, 4.79 inch can. Uh, the original price was 850. Uh, at Top Pack Defense here in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. I was able to get it for 700, uh, as well as this Trilug mount that cost it 110. So it fits a lot lower, um, just a nice looking piece. So with that, overall, this gun costed me um, 600, excuse me, $6,083. Um, very expensive, but I absolutely love this setup. Uh, I wouldn't change anything as of right now unless something new comes out, uh, but I love this piece. 
All right, my next video, I'm going to discuss uh, the Ghetto Blaster, so stay tuned for that. I was able to pick this up from Tag Firearms as well. So stay tuned, folks.